good morning and welcome to Gorillas and the Wrist. Um, before we get to today's unboxing, I wanted to introduce myself and the channel. My name's Chris and I've had this watch bug now for the better part of four years. Originally focusing on the very budget end of the market, I am a very tight git, um, but starting to branch out a little, um, but still not quite yet into the luxury watch market. I have an eight and three quarter inch left wrist and a very slightly smaller right wrist. And hence this channel is about some of the challenges that our silverbacks have to contend with. Before we enter the unboxing itself, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Pete from Chilling With Watches, as this was a watch he was giving away and I won. For those of you who haven't seen any of Pete's stuff, I will leave a link in the description. He regularly reviews watch brands that I have never, never come across, and his mod videos are always entertaining and illuminating. I'd also like to say a big thank you to Freestyle USA who provided the watch and got it across the pond to the UK in a matter of days. Um, their mainstay is Shark Watches and Straps and I'll leave a link in the description to the company. Dealing with them was really, really easy. So what we're unboxing today is the Shark Classic Clip Analog Boot Camp Watch. It's a 38mm dial with 100 meters of water resistance and loomed hands. So without any further ado, let's crack on. We have what do we have? Good. Usual FedEx fare, but very easy to get into. And we have paperwork, excellent, and then the box itself. The packaging itself is all recycled. Um, I like the only thing that we're killing is time, not trees. Fairly standard packaging. And let's see what we've got within the box itself. You immediately see some of the problems us gorillas have. I can barely open the box with my fingers. So this is what we have. It's 100 meters water resistance, uh, Japanese quartz movement, minimalist design, luminous hands, a clip strap, and a limited lifetime guarantee for two years. Currently has a protection hand, so let's just pop that in. And we are off to the races. So very nice squarish design. Uh, green face here. Say a nice camo strap, which I'm going to adjust in a minute to put on my wrist. Nice. So just do a quick check on the measurements. So we have 37.9 millilitres across the dial. This is 11 point, if I can hold this thing steady, 11.4 millimeters, so nice and thick, what you, uh, thin, what you would expect from a quartz watch. And lug to lug. They're not good at this, aren't they? So lug to lug, 36 millimeters. So wider than it is long. There it is on wrist. I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised because actually when I looked at this watch originally and it was ordered, um, what I realized is that it said for medium sized wrists um, and therefore I was kind of expecting that it wouldn't fit me, um, which wouldn't have been the company's fault, it would have been my fault because I didn't read, clearly didn't read the description properly. Um, but actually, shock horror, it fits. That's really nice. Um, I am very impressed. A, it gets the Silverbacks thumbs up um, since it actually fits an inch bigger wrist than it said it would. So I think that's fantastic. Um, good stuff. 
So there we have it. The verdict on unboxing, actually nice watch. I like it. I like the camo strap. I'm very impressed it fits. Um, what I'm going to do is live with it for a couple of weeks and then we'll do a review of where we've got to with it. Uh, hopefully you'll join us for that. <laughs>